Hi there, today I'm going to walk you through setting up Prusa Slicer software on a Windows machine. So go to your browser and type Prusa Slicer download and click on the option here and it will pick up the system that you're running. It has picked up that I'm using Windows but if you're using Mac or Linux you can choose these options too. So click download. You don't need to choose anything here, we'll just wait for the download to begin. We go to Downloads and double click on our download, choose English, click OK. And we're just going to click Next through these windows. We're going to leave whatever selected selected, click Next and click Install. We're going to deselect these two and click Finish. Now it has created a desktop shortcut here, so you can double click here to open the software. If you can't see it here, go into your PC, into Program Files, Prusa Slicer, and you should be able to double click from here as well if you don't have the desktop shortcut. When the software opens, it will bring you into the configuration wizard automatically if this is your first download and install. But for me, I have the software already installed, so I need to go into the configuration wizard manually. So go to configuration, configuration wizard, and then I can walk you through some of the settings that I choose for my system. So here's the first window. We can just move through to the next and take a look at what printer models we're going to be using. So the first page is for Prusa. If you're using Prusa, you can make your selections here. I'm using a Prusa Mini, and I'm also using a Prusa Mark III. They're both 0.4 millimeter nozzles, which is the standard. And that's it from the Prusa models for now. Click next and next again. And here you can choose different 3D printing vendors. So I'm using an Ultimaker as well. So I'm going to scroll down and look for the Ultimaker on my list and tick that and click next. Uh, this is Ultimaker 2 and it is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle again. So I can click next. And I'm going to leave this blank and click next. Now here we have our filament profiles. So we can make our selections here Automatically, it has a number of uh, filament profiles selected, and I actually find this list is a little too long, and also it has selections that I don't actually use myself. So I'm gonna click None to deselect everything, and I'm gonna manually choose the filaments that I want. Now I use Prusament Filament, so I'm gonna choose a Prusament PLA and a Prusament PTG. Now I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna look for filaments for my Ultimaker, so a generic PLA, and a generic PETG and that's fine for now I'm going to click next and I'm going to leave these two boxes checked next I'm going to leave this checked as well next I'm going to leave this empty click next I'm going to check these two and click next and this is the view mode that your software will open in I'm going to leave it at simple and click finish so this is the install complete. You can see the list of printers that I've selected here. I've got my three printers. I can add and remove printers from this window as well. And I have my filament here that I've chosen. And again, I can add and remove filament from this window as well. So if I click add remove filament, it will bring me back into my filament profile selection. I can make my changes, click finish, and you'll see it added there. And that's the setup for a Windows machine. Well done and happy printing.